Deck, go ahead. Seek it to Ops, seek it to Silver for Honor. Have ladder complete FT. FFT, the valve is closed. Okay, lever arms close, and a CO2 bottle too. This is the first time that a combined Hugen AUV and USV mothership have been used for its launch, synchronized seafloor survey, and recovery. I'm Matthew Kowalczyk, the CEO of Ocean Floor Geophysics. The OFG team really is a leader in taking our deep water AUV experience and integrating that into a, into a larger project or a larger vision. OFG is working with the Jebco NF team to develop a, an AUV and USV combined system for mapping the ocean's depths. AUVs are autonomous underwater vehicles, subsea drones. USVs are uncrewed or unmanned surface vehicles. Managing two vessels, two autonomous vessels, who are interacting with each other requires quite a bit of extra level of planning to make sure that, that everything happens in a predictable manner. My name is Alison Proctor. I'm a subsea project engineer with uh, Ocean Floor Geophysics. All of these different levels of, of planning uh, need to all come together so that the vehicles operate as we are expecting them to operate and we manage to process the data in a way that we get a consistent data product. We understand the geophysics and the need for the sensors and so we know what's available and can add them into an AUV platform and, and put it out there. You know, we're pretty much full circle operational group with the ability to do the data processing so OFG provides a valuable experience. People that are, let's call it natural born collaborators, that's who we are. Our team's commercial operational experience was key in taking this phenomenal idea of combined AUV and USV operations from a concept to a clear demonstration of the technology. So there was really, you know, from the very beginning, the OFG operations team and the Jebco data team had a very tight relationship. You know, we were sharing information and, and, and planning uh, the project together from the very beginning. We have a lot of experience working with multidisciplinary groups in commercial projects, uh, knitting together new technology, academic research, and commercial operations. Okay, uh, release control, I will take over. Control release. When operating AEVs, uh, planning is key. So risk management and anticipating adversity so that these things don't negatively impact the mission. You could, in fact, send out uh, the sea kit and the uh, AUV, you know, reducing risk in the form of uh, people or accidents. Smooth operations, um, really all comes down to your setup. The project is really inspiring, uh, not only in its goal to allow for rapid, unmanned exploration of the ocean's depths, but in the execution, what, what we've done. Seek it, seek it, ops, uh, just to let you know, you'll be coming around to starboard in the next less than a minute. From my experience in commercial operations, it's all about the people. Of course, having the money to have great gear makes a big difference, but uh, working with great people, I think that head and shoulders is uh, the difference. Seek it's on course now. Seek it's now on course, uh, on the line for waypoint two. The EV now will continue to transit in that direction. There is a depth of knowledge and an ability to adapt within the OFG team that makes us uh, a world leader in commercial deep water AUV operations. Uh, 
we actually have a very, very deep pool of experience. People who have um, built AUVs from scratch, who have operated um, you know, three, four, or five different kinds of AUVs. No matter what scenario we come up with, uh, there's somebody who has relevant experience. So let me see, get down, prepare for retrieval. Stopping mission, AUV on board. Good job. All right, well, that's the first. Well, congrats. Had to have we have later. surpassed uh, my expectations on this project for sure. The technology and processes developed for this project are a really large step towards a commercial implementation of combined AUV and USV operations. What this could bring. Uh, far lower costs, I think it'll uh, catch on pretty quick. So better data really does equal better decisions and the systems and technology developed for this project uh, really are an enabler of, of better data.